What is up guys? What is up? What is today? Today is just another Wednesday down here in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip and I wasn't even planning on doing a video but it is so perfect out right now. So nice out. Um, I had to turn the video camera on. I had to do a video. I had to record. So um, what's everybody up to? I heard that Trump is going to give a press conference today on the virus. Maybe by the time I post this video, you guys will already have seen that, most likely. Uh, unless I get this video posted very quickly and you watch it right away, then maybe it hasn't happened yet. But I don't know. I don't know. Is this the quiet before the storm? Man, I don't want the virus to come here and blow up. How, what am I going to do? How am I going to Uber? If this thing has an outbreak around Vegas or somewhere around... You know, anywhere close to here, I gotta stop Ubering, right? I'm definitely not picking people up at the airport because, I mean, there's a good chance that's how it's gonna arrive if it arrives here in Vegas, right? It's gonna be maybe somebody coming in on an international flight that doesn't know that they're infected, and there we go. It's off to the races, you know? I just, um, that Uber area, the airport pickup at over here in Vegas is crazy. I mean, at all airports, but it just takes one person to not know they're infected and to be contagious. Get into an Uber, get out of an Uber, touch the door handles, breathe in there, whatever. The next rider, the next passenger gets in. I mean, look at all these people. You know, you get one of these people infected down here in Vegas. Hey, here comes Elvis. Get ready. Elvis! There goes Elvis. There goes the king. The king is alive. Uh oh, King is a crazy driver. Look at him go. But um, look at the King. He's going crazy. He's going ham out there. What? Anyway, I mean, touching all the slot machines, right? Having your drinks. And if that thing gets loose over here in Vegas, it's going to be an issue. They already shut down Macau for a while over there in uh, China which is a bigger, uh, seven times bigger uh, gambling and gaming market than uh, Las Vegas is altogether combined. So they were losing between three and four million dollars a day in overall revenue. I mean, it's just not a good thing. I don't want to talk about it. I'm, I'm not trying to panic people, get you guys freaked out or anything, but uh, you know, it's reality. It is what it is. It's us. It's uh, viruses are out there and um, like they say, it's only a matter of time until one of these things gets out of control. We're lucky, though, this thing is at about a 2% mortality rate. About 2% of the total people that get it might die from it. Um, it's higher than the regular flu. A lot of people say it's the same thing as the common cold as the flu. Uh, not exactly true. The common cold or the common flu, influenza, does kill a lot of people, but... The death rate, the mortality rate, is only about 0.1%. So, but with this uh, coronavirus thing, it's about 2.0%. I mean, approximately. It's still early, so they don't really know exactly because they don't know how many cases are out there. People, people don't know they have it when they have it sometimes. And sometimes, a lot of times, right, 80 or 90% of the time, it might go away on its own without even seeing a doctor and getting diagnosed with it. So there's, there's probably thousands of people that have it and have had it and recovered and they didn't even know they had it. So we don't know. Don't know what's going to happen. Even the scientists don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know what um, they're going to talk about. I don't know what Trump will talk about today when he talks about it, but probably try to reassure everyone and calm everyone down. So the tank markets, the <laughs> stock markets don't tank, right? Because uh, that's not a good thing. But right now, the weather is so nice. I got to enjoy it while I can. You know, I'm Ubering. I'm going to be Ubering like crazy. I'm going to try to rack up as much as I can, rack up the money. Um, I am buying a few supplies because if, okay, if it does come to your city and it gets bad enough, you know, people will panic and uh, hoard too much stuff out of the stores. So it's good to buy what you need now. You don't need to overdo it, but have a, a few things so you don't have to go out to the store if you need to make dinner at home, you know. Get some uh, Chef Boyardee, get some SpaghettiOs, whatever you guys like. Cup of noodle is my go-to. Uh, I know there's not a lot of nutrition in that probably because it's just salt and noodles and water, but I picked up um, some 12 packs of cup of noodles for like four bucks. So 
if times are tough, you know, you could survive on one of those for breakfast, one of those at night, and that's some cheap way of surviving. And maybe some canned vegetables, some canned fruit. I gotta get my vitamin C. So I'm stocking up on a little few things here and there. When I'm out and about and Uber Day's done, um, I'll pick up a few cans of stuff and I just, uh, and some toilet paper, like I mentioned. I go to the Dollar Tree, I get some four pack of toilet paper for a buck. Throw it in the closet. And that way, if the shit hits the fan, at least you got a little bit of stuff in the house. You don't have to run out right away and go out there with some hordes of people trying to shop all at the same time. Like Black Friday, right? It'll be like Black Friday for canned foods and canned bottled water and all their stuff. Toilet paper. Black Friday toilet paper. I don't know. I'm just, I'm punchy right now. I'm a little crazy. Just, uh, so nice out. But I'm going to keep Ubering. I'm going to make some money today. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, like I said, man, just do what you got to do. Buy a few little supplies for your house just in case. Even if it doesn't happen, if your friends make fun of you and say you're a doomsday prepper and all that, who cares? You're going to eat the food anyway. Buy stuff you like. Don't buy junk that you know you're never going to eat. Okay, buy some stuff that you like anyway. Buy some mac and cheese or whatever it is that you like. Your soda, your beer, right? Look at these girls running across with a green light here. Come on, girls. You always get people killed in Vegas running across the street like this. Anyway, yeah, buy a few things. Throw it in your closet. Doesn't hurt to be stocked up a little bit. You might have a hurricane. You might have an earthquake. It doesn't have to be the virus. But, um, you know, and it's good to buy a little bit each day or on your way home from work because that way you don't cause a panic. People don't see you dragging five shopping carts to the checkout lane with, you know, 50 packs of bottled water which is what it could come to if shit hits a fan. But right now, as of the time of this video, you know, it's just uh, time to buy a few little extra provisions and that's all. And uh, live day by day, enjoy it while you can. Never know what's gonna happen. So that's what I'm doing, I'm out here, I'm having fun, doing the Uber thing, just uh, grinding. I might play in a poker tournament this Saturday. Ah, I haven't played poker in so long, and they have, uh, that's what I forgot to do. I got to grab a little bit of money out of the bank account so I can uh, stop in over here at the uh, Westgate Casino. That's where the tournament's going to be, and it's so cheap, and the prize pool is decent for such a cheap buy-in, so got to do it. It's like a leap day, leap year, leap day, whatever, uh, poker tournament. It's on 229 so the buy-in is $29, and the price pool is $2,900. So for $29, come on. I could drop that in a slot machine, and it'll be gone in five minutes. So $29 to play a little poker tournament, get some cards in the air, have some fun. We're going to do that this Saturday at noon. I'll shoot some video of that day, let you guys know how it goes. And um, that's it for uh, this video. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you guys want to follow me and see what's happening give you my little updates on uh, what, how things are going out here in Vegas as whatever happens happens and uh, see how it goes. So leave some comments down below. Click the thumbs up button for me. It takes about uh, how many, how much time does it take to click? It takes about a half a second, but I'll appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys. Give me some comments. Let me know what's going on out in your neck of the woods. I'll see you soon.